What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm going to be giving you a little run through of what you can really do with the Pivos Zios XS Media Player. Now I have it all set up. Now if you missed our original setup video, we've gone ahead and got everything set up, set up our Wi-Fi and our display settings and all of that stuff. So once you actually get into the, um, you know, the, the Tofu OS, this is what it really looks like. Um, and you can go through and see we have videos, music, pictures, weather, favorites, search, system, and apps. And honestly, the first thing that you should really do is change this skin because I just, I'm not a fan of it at all. So, so do that. You can go into your system here and go to appearance. And um, the skin is tofu blur. We'll just go back to the original tofu, which once it changes, you'll see that it just looks so much better. And we hit yes and we can see that we can actually see things now it looks a lot better in my opinion um but you can actually so tofu is based on xbmc so you have all the functionality of xbmc in here so you can actually go in here um go into your skin and click on get more and it will load up skins for xbmc so you have all these different skins that you can actually download and really customize the way you want things to uh look you know on your Zios XS so let's get out of here and your basic settings are pretty simple you have appearance video live TV music pictures weather add-ons services and system now um, a couple things that you might want to do so you know with XBMC there's there's your basic repositories and there's things that you can download and everything like that but if you want to do add-ons you can actually um, download a ton of different add-ons for xbmc depending on what they may be and all that kind of stuff it's actually quite cool all the different stuff that you can download for xbmc you can completely customize the system um you know so that is something you might want to look into and also there's services that you can add um, with XBMC as well. There's so many things that you can do here, which I'm not gonna completely go into because that this would be an XBMC review and that's not what we're doing here. But um, just the thing you can add, you can do so many add-ons and you can actually install add-ons from zip file, from a zip file and a bunch of other ways to do it, which I will show you um, here in a second. But once we get out of there, so you have your main settings, you get everything set up of course, and all of that. So mainly what you're gonna wanna do is of course, watch video, music, you know, go through pictures and everything like that. So what you can do is we're on our videos here. So we go into videos and you can put files on the device um, on the internal storage, which isn't a lot, it's only eight gigs, but you can install a USB drive or you can put a micro SD in there as well and, you know, load files on that way. You can also connect to network shares, which I've done. So you can easily go in and um, I'll show you actually how to do it. So we'll go to add videos and you can go to browse and you can see all the different types of storage that I can browse for to add something. So you can, um, you know, external storage, HD home run devices, network file system. So NFS replay root file system, SAP system, U UPnP, which I have connected, um, video playlist, windows network. So SMB you can do, um, zero config browser and you can actually add a network location as well so there's a lot of different ways you can get media so this can be done not only for your videos but for music and pictures as well so that is basically how you add media and i've thrown pretty much every different type of media at this device and it plays everything really good it play has no problem playing things over the network as well so i have no problem streaming media over the network whether it's pictures video or music now i'm doing everything there's i haven't done any 1080p um which i haven't been able to test but 720p runs fine over the network 1080p you might want to use the um, ethernet port on the device that's of course again if you have an open ethernet port i would suggest just using it just because it's going to be faster than wi-fi so we'll get out of that and we'll show you a couple other cool things that you can do. So not only can you add your own media, but you can actually do streaming services as well. So if we go into videos again, and we'll go to video add-ons. So I've gone ahead, oops, I didn't click it. So, I got, so I've gone ahead and I've added a few add-ons. So I've added Apple, iTunes, trailers, Blip TV, Circuit Board TV, Call of Tumor, Giant Bomb, all that kind of stuff, Twit, you know, some things that I might want to use, YouTube, but you can actually add some more. So we'll add one. I'll show you how easy it is to add a video add-on. So there's 
all these services online that you know that you watch you watch videos online but you know now you can watch them on your tv which is actually pretty cool so i don't know um we'll add something just to show you how easy it is to add something let's add i don't know um we'll add just we'll just add cbs news so we hit that and we hit install and it will download and it is installed now it's been enabled so if i go back here i can see cbsnews.com and if i click it you can see you know some of their main shows 48 hours 60 minutes all of that kind of stuff and you can go you can go in live and you can just watch this stuff you know just like doing it online but you have it through you know these ios xs and there's a ton of different ones i'll go i'll show you one more time just how many add-ons there are for video i mean i can just scroll through here and there are a ton i'm only on e right now so there's a lot of things so if you watch something online you watch an online show or you know a lot of different things there's probably an add-on for it for video and they also have the same thing for music i believe so let's go into that oops we'll go over to music and you can also add music add-ons. Um, of course, there is no source right now, but you can, of course, add them. XBMC, as I said, you do have a large repository of add-ons. If I go to browse, yeah, you can actually, oops. Sorry, here we go. So you can do music add-ons as well, and there should be quite a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of different music add-ons as well. Um, a ton of stuff. Groove Shark, I can see right here, um, you know, jazzradio.com last fm there is a ton of different things mixcloud which is actually pretty cool all this different stuff you can add for music so it, you know again you have a lot of different things in there that you can of course do if we go out of there we can i'll just show you weather so you can check the weather in real time you do have to set it up in the um, settings you know your location but you can go ahead and do that as you can see i'm in pittsburgh so it is cloudy and cold right now um looks like friday and saturday it's going to be a little bit uh warmer but not much so we'll go out of there of course pictures is the same thing as videos you can add your source and all of that now programs this is also apps so what's great about the zios xs is that you can add native android apps on it so if we go to programs um, it's actually going to show us all the Android apps that we have installed. Now I've installed some things, um, but it does come with the basics and you can access the Google Play Store, which I will show you. And here I am at Google Play Store and I can search for apps and everything like that. Now I am using a remote. So, you know, going in and searching for apps is kind of cumbersome. So I have to, you know, type certain things in down here. It is a little cumbersome and a little bit hard, but again, you can connect both a keyboard and mouse to this device or connect them via Bluetooth. So you can make that experience much easier if you want to. So we'll get out of that and it will go back into this, of course. And then I believe you can still, I don't see browser in here, but you can actually browse the internet as well. Um, that might not be on here. I'm sure it has to be. Let's see. Let's see if we can go back into our settings and we'll change our appearance again. Maybe it's not on this tofu skin for some reason. So we'll go back to the tofu blur, which again, I'm not a fan of. We'll keep our skin and see if the internet comes up or if it's just not in here. Yeah, here we go, internet, and we click that, and of course, we can bring up whatever we want. Um, it is kind of hard to get. See, I'm trying to do this with the remote, and it's not the easiest thing to do because I can't access that the way I want to for some reason. It's not going over to the URL page. As you can see, it's not really doing that. Um, which there it goes finally so again it is a little cumbersome but if you had a keyboard and mouse it would be just as simple and web pages display just like they would on your normal pc um, it works pretty well if you want to do web browsing so we'll go back home here and um, the only other things that you can do in here really is that you can do um, live tv which you of course you would have to set up yourself and you would need a 
capture card and all of that kind of stuff um, for your PC. You can do a couple other things. If we go into um, our system again, we can, um, of course, here's our live TV settings so you can set up. And again, the add-ons, you can add quite a lot of stuff on here. Um, so that's what's great about the Zios XS is that if you really want to drill down and you want to take the time to really customize this, you can add so many things to this because it is based on XBMC um, that you can really make it an extremely powerful device. The only issue is it does take some time and if you're not familiar with XBMC, it is going to be a little cumbersome and a little hard to do, but if you want to take the time to do it, you can make it extremely powerful and again, not only do you have XBMC apps, but you have native Android, Android apps too. So you can download, of course, Netflix and Hulu and all of that stuff right on the device that you can easily access. Now, if you have any questions about the Zios XS, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I try to go over some of the basic things, but again, this is an extremely complex device, meaning that you can really customize it with XBMC, change skins, add a ton of add-ons, do a lot of things that you want to do. So if you have any questions about any of that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.